Hi everyone, Professor Zemanek here. So I wanted to take you through the argument essay assignment, the PowerPoint, the um, directions for the proposal and all of the other things that are happening with essay number four. We're not gonna go through all of it, but I wanted to go through some highlights of it because if we were sitting in class, that's what we would be doing this week. So I thought I would take a few minutes and just kind of go through the material a little bit with you. Of course, if you have more questions, you may um, email me, message me, let me know. All right. Um, what else do I want to say about that? Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is watch this video now. All right. So don't pause it and move away. Watch this now. Then go through, look at the presentation, look at the materials, and then come back and watch this video again. Why do I say that? Because some of the things that I'm going to talk about now will probably make zero sense to you because you haven't seen any of it. All right. Um, it'll make much more sense if you do come back and you um, have like the prompt in front of you and things like that, and you can look at it and listen to the video. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. All right. Okay, so let me share my screen with you and we're going to kind of walk through, like I said, what it looks like. If you're watching this in 1B, lucky you, this is the 1B shell that I'm going to show you. So this is exactly what you're going to look like. It's going to look like. Um, if this is 1A, if you are in 1A and watching this, yours looks a little different. Um, just what things are listed after the essay assignment prompts and whatnot. So don't focus so much on that. Just focus on what I'm showing you because the chunk I'm going to show you is exactly the same as 1B. All right, here we go. So sharing my screen, Let's see if I can figure this out. Here we go. Okie dokie. So um, right here is the little part that is going to show you the argument essay. So let me click on that. So this is just kind of giving you an overview of what we're going to see, okay? Um, next is the do to do, do loading is the PowerPoint presentation. So you can, again, scroll through this, take a look at this. I don't need to show you all thousands of these things, but I would definitely take a look at it. Um, what I really wanted to show you was um, in 1B. So if you're in 1A, you can close your ears for a second. In 1B, I know you really wanted to watch me scroll through this PowerPoint. <laughs> in 1B, this is what I want to show you. You guys are going to do an annotated bibliography for essay number four, which is awesome because annotated bibliographies are awesome. But what that means is for the entire essay, you will need to have at least eight outside sources, at least eight outside sources. For this annotated bibliography, you only need to do four, that was eight, you only need to do four of the sources for your annotated bib, okay? Again, eight total, I only need to see four on your bibliography, okay? Questions on that? Let me know, but that's that. Um, and there's a sample here. I don't know why this is happening, but it is. Um, outline 1A, 1B, it's the same. Again, I don't think we need to scroll through all thousands of these things, but I just wanted to show you at least for 1B, the annotated bibliography. Okay, 1A, 1B people, this is all you. What you're gonna see next is our prompt. All right, so this is the research paper for both of you. Um, and it looks very similar. There's just a few different requirements, but otherwise it looks very, very similar. The thing I wanted to mention about the prompt is this. So I have a limitation on topics. As you'll see here, they're kind of the big hot button topics, um, abortion, cloning, death penalty, gun control, those sorts of things. Why do I limit them? Well, it says here, I, I limit these only because I think people default to these. So they think I've got to write a research paper. What's a big hot button topic? gun control, boom, I'll write about that. But you don't really care about gun control, right? You just need a topic. So what I'd really like you to do is find something you genuinely are interested in. I've had people write about cats. I've had people write about uh, literature. I mean, I've had people write about thousands of things, data mining, why Amazon is like evil, so many things. Okay, so I really want you to find something you really, really want to write about. However, if all semester you have had your heart on writing about um, 
cloning. That is just your passion in life. Send me an email and we can talk about it. Okay. I'm not saying, no, you can't even mention these to me. Like if, like, if you really, really want to, that's one thing, but I don't want you to fall back onto these things. So if you have questions or you're not sure if your topic is going to work, always let's chat about it. Okay. Either via email message or through office hours. All right. So that's that with the topics. I, I didn't want to just leave this here and not explain myself. So, um, but otherwise for both, um, what was I going to say? Both classes, the, the prompt looks very similar. For 1B, you just have an essay prompt. And then the next little slide here, do, 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 clicking. You've got your proposal, your annotated bibliography, and your outline directions, which look like this. For 1A, this part is actually embedded into the essay prompt. So it looks the same. 1B, you have two documents. 1A, you have one document. Okay. Um, for the proposal, for the proposal, I want to do something a little fun, a little different. Usually I have people write their proposal, but today, or not today, I decided this like maybe four days ago. Um, <laughs> instead of writing, I want you to make either a Flipgrid video of just you talking or um, make a PowerPoint and then record yourself talking over your PowerPoint, or you can actually write something and then just read it and record it. I just want something that's a little more creative and personal. So you can get as creative as making a movie or maybe a poster board, or you can be as, I don't wanna say uncreative because I think writing's obviously very creative, but you can kind of go the more traditional route of writing a paragraph and then um, just like talking through it. Okay, so that's the proposal for both 1B and 1A. Um, directions for the annotated bib, 1B, I'll let you take a look at that. If you have questions, we'll go over it more next week. And then both 1A and 1B, you guys are doing a wonderful detailed sentence outline. I know people hate outlines. I love a good outline because it's going to really, really help you um, organize your thoughts before we get into the essay itself. These are big papers. And so if we just dive in, it can be really scary and weird and exhausting. Um, so I've had a lot of people tell me that they were dreading doing the outline. They did the outline. And then once they started writing the paper, they were like, yeah, thank you. Um, and some people were like, no, that didn't made, made no difference. But I hope it's helpful. That's the goal. I'm not just trying to assign busy work. Okay. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to share with you on those things. So again, right now, this probably seems like a bunch of different information coming at you and you haven't looked at any of this. So you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But if this is your second time or third or millionth time watching this, but you've uh, looked through the material, I hope that's making a little bit more sense. So anything else I wanted to share with you about that? I don't think so. So I'll stop sharing my screen. Um, so yes, I have office hours Monday through Thursday from two to three. You can come see me if you want to chat about the essay, about anything at all. Um, and if those times don't work, just send me an email. We'll find a different time. Um, it's not like I'm really going anywhere, you know? <laughs> one day, one day as I look out my window. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm super excited to see what you're all are going to write about. Like I said, probably one of the most important pieces of advice that I can give you and just encouragement I can give you is pick something you are interested in. Even if it's very strange and even if I have no idea what you're talking about, if you write a good enough paper, I'll be in it and I'll be, I'll be excited to uh, hear about it. Okay. All right. I think that's it. I think this was long enough. Okay. Bye.